Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create the perfect welcome email. Even better, I'm going to give you a welcome email template that you can plug and play and utilize. Plus, I'll walk you through the steps and talk more about it so that you're not lost whatsoever. Uh, in this specific example, I will be using GetResponse. And if you don't have any type of email marketing or autoresponder or anything for sending out your welcome emails, I will put a link in the description. They come with a free account, which is always awesome. So in the beginning, I'm showing you this here because GetResponse has you enter your subject line first. So I want to give you some context. For this, the subject line is just going to be click here to download your ebook. I like adding a call to action for my first subject line. It tends to do very well, and I feel having that can give it a little boost. Plus, this is going to be under the impression that someone got on your list through trying to request some type of lead magnet. Could be an ebook, a download, a video training, a case study. Um, a full course, whatever it's going to be. So you can obviously change that around, edit it and adapt it to based on how someone is signing up to your list. Okay. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. Let's actually move to the editor and I'll talk about the template and show you how you can utilize it. All right. So here we are. This is going to be the template here. I can probably just delete this aspect. Okay. So first thing you want to do is thank and welcome them. Next, you want to do is let them know why they got this email. And I'm going to explain these once we go through. Next is going to be a link to what they're requested or what they're looking for. Next, you're going to let them know about what they will get in your emails, your future emails, of course, uh, along with some benefits. And then, of course, you can sign off. And the cool thing about this is that it's very flexible. As you'll see right here, there's a PS section. And in this, you can kind of pick any of these that you like, whether it's going to be a bonus, a link to an application, say if you're doing coaching calls or you want to get someone on the phone, link to an article, blog, or webinar, link to a group. Maybe you have a Facebook group. This is a great aspect or section. I guess you could call it quote unquote real estate, where if you want to build your Facebook group, perfect uh, aspect or area for it. Cliffhanger is going to be something like, make sure you uh, check out my email tomorrow. I'm going to have a great bonus for you. So I'll see you there. Something like that, right? Whitelist is just a way to have them favorite you as a sender or put a star by your name. And I put whitelist bribe. There's You can do that. Usually there's instructions for it or what you can say like, hey, if you add me to your favorite senders or you star me, like I'll give you a bonus. That's why I put quote unquote bribe there. Last is going to be reply. I've noticed this and I'm sure you've noticed it before. When you reply to someone or someone you go back and forth with someone, usually like in Gmail, it'll come up as a known sender. Like there'll be a star by their name. And because of that, there's more chances that they're going to show up in your inbox. So if you can get someone to reply, that's really going to help you with your open rates in the future. And I have also the reply bribe. Hey, uh, I want to make sure you got your free cheat sheet. So if you reply to this, I'll actually give you a bonus case study that goes along with it. So it's kind of quote unquote bribing them to do that very nicely, of course, right? So let's talk about this. First, we have thank and welcome them. And the reason I put this is because you want to let them know they made a great idea and also let them know why they're getting this email. Because keep in mind, sometimes people will opt in. Maybe you have the free gift there for them. Maybe they get sent to a VSL or something completely different and they might just forget who you are. Or they really don't know you. It happens all the time. So this is going to help you kind of avoid getting hit the spam button on like, who is this? Why am I getting this? Immediately, we're going to answer that. So, hey, thank you so much for uh, requesting to get your free gift, the, I don't know, um, business newsletter report. Here is the link to where you can download that immediately. Okay. Something along the lines of that. From then on out, we want to let them know how often they will get emails from you. This sets up the standards and the expectations because if you're going to be emailing daily, which you know everyone has their own opinion, I think that's pretty standard, not too bad, like every one or two days. Some people get annoyed by that, but then again, some people get annoyed at anything in the world, so it's not really something bad. But if you're letting them know that you're sending out an email every day or every two days from you, they can expect that. Like That's your standard, so they can't get you know, pissed off and complain about it down the line. I just like letting them know that because when they, if I say I'm going to send daily and I start doing daily, the expectations are met. Plus, when it comes to that, you also want to let them know what you're going to be talking about in your future emails. These are going to be benefit enriched. This is another great way to kind of get a little bit more increase in the chances of people opening up your email. So let's say someone opted in to get a free cheat sheet about the best email templates. Okay. Let's say they opted in to get this specific template. You know, thank you so much for opting in and requesting your welcome email template. Here is the link to it as you requested where you can download it immediately. 
Aside from that, I will be mailing, emailing you every two days. And with that, I'll be giving you plenty more great templates. For example, the autoresponder follow-up series, which actually goes up to 80 days where you can literally plug and play it and so on and so forth. You see how it, there's much more benefits when they hear about something like that. They're like, wow, if I got this and I can get that later, it's going to really improve your chances that they look for your emails, open them up, digest it, and of course, click on your links and so on and so forth. So that's going to be a lot of the benefit enriched I guess, emails that you're going to be talking about in the future. That's something you can kind of come up with off the top of your head, especially if you're going to be an expert. It should be pre pretty easy to figure out what your perfect audience wants. Okay. Then, of course, signing off pretty simple. And like I talked about the PS, let me uh, give you a little bit more uh, context when it comes to this. So you have another bonus. Maybe it's unannounced and that's always a cool thing. It's it's great to give your audience what they're looking for and then just deliver even more. So if you have any bonus you want to put there, feel free to. This is kind of like a grab bag of where you can put maybe an additional link. Think of it that way. So whatever's going to work best for you, your perfect audience, your business, your goals, whatever it's going to be, you know, this is the spot for it. A link to an application, I do actually provide coaching. And if that's something you're interested in, here is a link where you can apply and speak on a phone with me or someone from my team. That's an example for an application, right? So link to an article, a blog, or a webinar. Webinars are great for obviously pitching those higher ticket products. Maybe you don't have one of those. Maybe you want to send it to an article, a blog, a video review. Maybe it's going to be something that pre-sells a specific offer. Maybe it's just going to be something valuable. Let me put the uh, cursor there so we know we're talking about that. Once again, that's something that you can do there. Talked about this before, a great spot for building up your Facebook group if you're looking to do that. Hey, in case you didn't get to check out the email marketers Facebook paradise group, here's the link where you can join. Cliffhanger is going to be something that we talked about again that allows them to like look forward to the next email. You're going to be teasing something. Like if you ever watch TV shows, they're great at it. Right before an advertisement, something amazing is going to happen. Like how is this person ever going to get out of this situation? You're going to have to wait till the advertising is over. You're going to have to wait till the next episode. If you're familiar with the show Dexter, they did that a ton. It's like, how is he ever going to get out of this? You have to wait till next season. It's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? But people came back because so they had to know. That's just an example of a cliffhanger. And of course, we talked about whitelist and replying. That's going to allow you to better get into the inbox, increase your chances of open. So overall, let me go through this and I'm actually going to write out a quick email. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back once everything is done using this template. All right, so I am back. Here's the example that I quickly came up with using this template. So, hey, it's James, and thanks for requesting your email templates ebook. As promised, you can get access to that using the link below. So click here to download the complete email templates ebook. I just made that up. I'm not sure what they were requesting, obviously, but this lets them know and reminds them that, oh, yeah, I signed up for this because I wanted to get that specific lead magnet, uh, that case study, that ebook, whatever it is. So I'll be sending you an email every two to three days. And in those emails, you're going to en enjoy tips such as how to double your open rates, 10 tips for staying out of the sin bin. That's what I call the spam box for email marketing, in case you were wondering. How to increase your sales without increasing your clicks. And you'll also see how to quickly create a 30-day autoresponder series. So most of these are just pretty much benefits, something that an email marketer is going to be looking for. Uh, it's really going to be up to you. You're the expert, so you know the benefits of what your perfect audience wants there. Either way, thanks again. That should be thanks with an S. Thanks again for signing up to my newsletter. And I look forward to hearing from you. A very simple sign off your name. And this one, I went with the reply. So I put PS, by the way, I have a very quick question. Is there anything email marketing related that you need help with the most? This is why we proofread James, right? <laughs> help with the most. Okay. Simply reply to this email and let me know as I can always create a new video tutorial for you. So this is just kind of saying like, hey, what do you need help with? And it's not like, hey, I'm going to sell you something. It's more so I can literally create a video, a tutorial, something like this, and then help you out that way. So that's a great way to get some replies. Keep in mind, not everyone is going to reply. It's just the way it works, but it's nice when people do because you know that you can help them specifically with what they're looking for. Plus, if you get if you get enough replies, you're going to see over time that people mostly need help with something. Thing, you know, point A the most, maybe subject lines or, or building up their list or whatever it's going to be. And that can help you kind of pivot and gear your content towards that specific problem in the future. So that's just a good reason to use the reply at the end if you want. Or like I said, there's just a lot of real estate there where you can choose something else or just leave it different. Completely up to you, but that's why it's a template. It's very flexible. And overall, I hope this really helps you out when it comes to creating your first welcome email utilizing this template. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. And finally, if you'd like to test out GetResponse, there is a link in the description for that with their free account. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.